What's up, beloved? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Hope everyone is having a great and awesome summer of 2023. You know, you'll never get this time back, so I hope you are enjoying each and every moment of this year, okay? Hopefully your manifestations are starting to come in or you're starting to see some of the things that you were working on in the um, in the winter come into fruition. So kudos to all you guys that's been going hard. Either way, we're getting ready to jump into this energy, see what Beloved wants you to know. Um, wow, that, that confusion's at the bottom of the deck. I want to um, shuffle a little bit more because the energy I'm picking up for you, Aries, is like an energy of someone who can't be trusted. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place, a backstabber type energy. Radical curiosity at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's up. Beloved, what's the message you have for Aries, please? What's the energy? For Aries. Wow. Trusting tricksters and distorted perception. What's going on, Aries, in your energy? There, okay, I just did your love reading last night, right? And it came out with a person who you trust. Who has been around you, who portrays as if they are your friend, but they're your foe. This is someone, Aries, who promises that they know you better than you know yourself. That they, they can almost guarantee your next move, right? I'm not sure if you talk to this person every day or... If this has been your, one of your day ones or something like that. But this person almost guarantees that I know what Aries is going to do before Aries does it. And I feel like at this time, Aries, they are misconstrued because it's time to checkmate that ass. Okay? This person play a mean game of checkers. Right? Can beat you every time at checkers. Not realizing that you're a master at playing chess, right? So as this person is plotting, scheming, whatever it is they're doing, you're one step ahead. One thing they forget about you, Aries, is that you are the emperor energy, right? An emperor, I mean, when you consider the 70, 78 cards in a tarot deck, the emperor is the embodiment of all the kings. So they'll step into their king of cups energy when they need to. They'll step into their king of swords energy when they need to. Their king of pentacles, their king of wands. Whatever they need to be in that moment, that's who they embody. But this person feels like they're like a king of swords energy. They swear that they're smarter than you. That uh, for some reason, it's like, <laughs> I don't know how someone's so sure that they know you better than you know yourself, Aries. Let's see what's up. Beloved, what's going on with this energy surrounding Aries? What's going on? What does Aries need to know at this time? I always feel like somebody's watching me. So this person does watch you. This person, I'm telling you, they think that, that they're calculated, right? That they got you all figured out. <laughs> That's funny because all year long, since I started reading Aries for the past six months, it's like, you know, um, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Aries. But obviously, this person didn't get the memo. Okay, this person with their false sense of belief, this is them with this distorted perception. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, see, this person that's sitting up there, that's the emperor's energy. So whoever this person is, they're the ones that had the distorted perception. This is what happened when you think that I play checkers when I play chess. Check me, okay? So let's see, the moon, the five of coins, the nine of cups, the king of coins, the two of cups, 
the three of swords. Ooh. The, I knew it. I knew it was a... I knew it was a king of swords energy. Um, a five of cups. Nine of coins. <laughs> three of coins. <laughs> Temptation or temperance, rather. The fool. The seven of, of coins. May I get one more, please, beloved? Oh, that's not how we go. Okay. And the Empress. Oh, so this is a feminine energy that's going toe to toe with you. It's a power struggle. It's something. <laughs> Let me tell you this person's energy, Aries. Let's start there. So this person, once again, is this King of Swords energy, right? King of Swords energy, Empress. Could be a Libra. Um, but this person, it's, 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 it's this power dynamic that's going on with you. I don't know if you know this, but in their mind, you guys are like arch enemies or something like um you can't outbeat me you can't win like i'm smarter than you i'm more calculated than you i know your i know you better than you know yourself so i know how to play you this person is trying to play you a certain way because they feel like they really know you right this is a person like i said that you broke bread with that you could have borrowed money to, that you could have let it stay with you, that you could have um, helped out in their time of need. You could, have, you know, be the type of person to go pick their kids up from school or the type of person that takes on some of their, their load, try to help them, try to lead them, try to guide them, right? But this person has a hidden agenda. And that hidden agenda, Aries, is to see you fall. This person does not want to see you stand and be victorious on your own two feet, right? This is the type of person where, okay, so Aries and I are going out tonight. So, okay, I'm going to let Aries drive because if Aries drive, then I can let Aries like have a lot of drinks and whatnot. And I'm going to tell Aries though that I'll drive home. So Ar you understand what I'm saying? Like they, they be plotting on you. Like, okay, well... I'm going I'm to call Aries, see if they want to go to this barbecue. I know such and such that's going to be there that don't like Aries, but I'm going to invite Aries because such and such and Aries are... It, it, this person tries to put you in weird situations and, and, and places that you shouldn't be, at times you shouldn't be. This person behind closed doors, Aries, really want to be you. They've come into some type of agreement with other people regarding you, Aries. This person has a darker energy, okay? I feel like this is that same energy because there's a king of coins here as well. This is the same energy that we were talking about last night. Oh, oh. So I just heard that song. If you mess with me, I'll take your man. I'll take your man right out the box and put him under my padlock. Okay, so this... This got something to do with the significant other. This this isn't about you and this person. It, it's the fact that you got something that this person wants. And this person's willing to scheme and do whatever it takes to um, get this person from you. Whoever your person is, is a boss ass person, okay? This person must have money or um, be well known throughout the neighborhood or is a great father, but they definitely ain't broke. This person sees the way that this person has treated you, has catered to you, or whatever this person has done for you. And this person is very jealous and envious of you. They don't want to be number two or number three. This person want to be number one, okay? What they're trying to do, ooh, this is a dirty mother. Mm. What they're trying to do is get your person while they're weak. While you and your person are going through things, this person is somewhere strategizing, right? Because how do you get someone that's unattainable? You get them when, when they're vulnerable, right? 
So if this person catches your person in a vulnerable situation, like they feel like they'll be able to get them. But here's the T he he. This person, oh my goodness. This person. <laughs> this person's gonna fall victim if they haven't already to this person when they fall victim to this person it's no going back like if they have sex with your best friend or they have sex with your sister your brother your cousin your mother whatever right it's no going back but the problem is that this person is coming in and catching this person at a vulnerable time right this person this person is true this person's either trying to get pregnant or um, trying to impregnate somebody. This person is sick. This is the same energy I was picking up last night, but this person is sick. This is the person that has the distorted perception, the distorted point of view. They have this whole thing um, made up in their head that since you guys are apart, and you guys are no longer together, then now I can get them because you didn't know how to treat them. You didn't know how to talk to them. You didn't know how to rub their back or, or massage their, their mental when they needed you, Aries. I seen the way you treat them and you never deserve them, Aries. I deserve someone like that and I'm gonna get them. It's, it's, this is some sick, it really is. Because the way this person is coming off is definitely, definitely in this distorted perception. Okay, this is this person. Look at this, this card and how this person is looking. Look at their mental. Look at their mind energy. It's all like distorted. It's not clear. They're not thinking clearly. Like this person got one objective. And that one objective is to get your person from you. And it's like... Does this person realize what you've been through? But then this person comes in your face and like sucks up all the information. This is the worst type of mother uh, that somebody can have in their life. Because in the middle of you being like, bro or sis, you know, this motherfucker, they, I'm sorry to cuss, I'm trying not to cuss. But this, they did this, this, that, oh girl, for real, bro, for real. Wow, what what else they do? Like they just come in, soak up all the information so they can use it to their benefit, so they can use it to their advantage. Like I said, this person plays checkers. You play chess. They think they're one up on you, right? They think that they have you right where they want you, where you don't want this person. And they're the freaking reason why you're not with this person they're they're oh i seen him in the club with this girl or you know he messed with with my friend over there or you know bro she, she a hoe she she used to mess with bro over there or she did this i mean this is the type of person that plants seeds in people head remember we dealing with the strategist okay i'm not saying that this person is cold as at their skill or art but this person is definitely strategic in the way that they're going about this situation right that's why i say i was picking up on this this king of swords energy even before it came out because the way this person thinks they think that they're the smartest person in the room they could be a very narcissistic person and this is why they're like aiming to get what's yours and for me to say to get what's yours obviously in the spiritual realm it's already yours right but this person wants what's yours and they don't mind like scheming to get it This is a broken person. I can't wait till my cards come. I got some cards coming that's going to reveal the shit out of some people. But, um... This person wants love. I'm hearing that LL Cool J, when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my... I'm hearing that I need love energy. They want what you have. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get what you have. Because in their mind, 
you didn't treat them right or you wasn't good enough for them or they could love them better or something like that. It's crazy, Aries. It's crazy what this person who... Let's find out who is this person. We've been talking about their ass. Who are they? Who is this person with this distorted perception? That's an Aries energy. And this is this seemed like a day one, A1. Who is this person? That's an Aries energy, please. Who is this person? That's an Aries energy. With this distorted perception. This two of cups rolled, rolled it out. So this is definitely someone that's close to you. People don't like to think that their friends or whoever will be on this. But you'd be surprised. Okay. Some of my best friends. Some of my day ones. When I brought my booze around. It was like they was mesmerized or something. And I seen the hoe come out. And I'm like wow. It's like that huh. Wow. So the emperor and the empress came out. I'm going to put those two over there. Okay. The three of swords. The six of coins. The lovers. The two of swords. The moon. The two of pentacles. The seven of wands. And the ace of wands. If you mess with me, I'll take your man. So, this is you and your friend, Aries. This isn't like a divine couple or divine. This is you and that person, okay? This is you and this em emperor energy. But this is this empress. This is a, a, a feminine older figure. It's an auntie, an older cousin, a sister, a, um, a, a, I don't know, a confidant, okay? But whoever this empress is, this is you guys and your relationship. This is, this is a tight freaking bond that you guys share between you two. But this person is very, very envious of you at the same time. They want what you have, Aries. They want what you have. And they're doing everything to get it. See, they do it in the dark, not in the light. They're waiting to see if the shit comes into fruition. This is a sneaky person, okay? They don't do it in your face. They do it when they're away from you, when, you, when no one's watching. It's their thing. They're like... <laughs> They want, I don't know what's going on here because it's empresses. Yeah, empresses can get pregnant. Ooh. If one of your friends, cousin, aunties, confidants, if they're pregnant, they're, that's your person's baby that they're carrying. This person got with your person, Aries. Okay? Whoever this person is, and it keeps coming up. This person got with your person. They think they slick. Yep, it's the same energy because I said the same thing last night. They think they slick. Like I said, they think they smarter than you. So they play you in your face. This is the worst type of person to have in your life. Tell me about this. Um, tell me about this empress, please. Tell me about this empress. Something flipped out and hit itself. We'll see if it comes out. Tell me about this empress. Queen of Wands, so they could be a, um, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person think they just shh, can't nobody tell them nothing. Ooh, told you, they think they smarter than everybody. They be trying to play everybody like a fool, like they think they, they got mind control over people. They think this is the type of person, and this is why they're coming out with the Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands energy. This is the type of person that is very manipulative. They have, they think that that they they can control people. 
Who who was that that thought they can control people? And what movie? Was it Gina George? I'm not sure if it was Gina George on um, Mean Girls, but that's the energy I'm picking up. Someone think that they they got mind control over people, like they can get people to do what they want and whatnot. Yeah, I'm Zen, so fuck off. They don't care about nobody but themselves. And the Six of Cups energy, this is definitely day one energy, okay? This is, this is someone you went to high school with. This is someone who ate at your family's table. This is someone that comes to barbecues. This is someone that's always somewhere, hey, sis, hey, bro, like seeming very interested in what's going on here. Like, they be, I'm telling you. I don't like this energy. I said it last night. This that same person. Okay. They think they're the smartest person in the room. This is that narcissistic energy coming through. Um, I don't know who this this Empress Queen of Wands is in your life, Aries. But Beloved is constantly bringing this person up for you to um, pay attention. Okay. This person wants what you have. They think you... you like they just I don't know they think they they smarter than you that's all I can say Aries they think they smarter than you okay so let's get a message from beloved close out this reading and I'm still getting that song if you mess with me I'll take your man it's like this person may feel like you did something to them or something or or they're holding a grudge about a guy or girl that you took from them like in the sixth grade or seventh grade it's just some weirdo stuff what's the message you have for aries please my love learning discipline today i will surrender to discipline i realize that sometime it takes time to see the fruits of my labor yet i still need to practice discipline help me to remember god that I'm moving forward and that I'm learning the very important art of discipline. Okay, Aries, that's your message, my love. I thank you guys for so much for tapping them to BMHP's Table Etiquettes. Make sure to check out blackmadonnahp.com. Like, share, subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.